Throughout Black History Month, we've been sharing stories of black excellence. Meteorologist Brian Isnanski shares with us a story of how one African-American woman keeps us warm, literally, during this very cold stretch of weather we've been experiencing. There is very little we know about Alice Parker, an inventor from New Jersey who was the first to put to paper the idea of using natural gas as a way to heat an entire home. Winter is in full force here in Milwaukee as steam from natural gas furnaces plume from the chimneys of nearly every home in sight. We can give thanks for this source of heat to Alice Parker. She grew up in Morristown, New Jersey, received a certificate with honors from an academy tied to Howard University in Washington, D.C. And during cold northeastern winters inspired her to file a patent in 1919 for the first central heating system using natural gas while breaking down barriers of racism and sexism. As we think about this moment of, of black women magic and black girl magic and all that, that, that has long roots. That has a, there's a long history where we see black women being very uh, remarkable in their, their efforts to battle racism and sexism. There's an astonishing lack of information of what happened to her design after she filed the patent, likely a result of the times. As the system of slavery is coming to an end and, and as we're moving into reconstruction, you know, the last four decades of the 19th century, it's fair to argue the most significant effort that was central to black identity was education because to remain uneducated, to, to remain illiterate, was essentially uh, its own version of slavery. A century later, on a cold morning in Metro Milwaukee, Alice's groundbreaking idea stands the test of time. Besides maybe some different safety th measures and different, you know, obviously modern technology, the idea of bringing in natural gas into a home and distributing it through ductwork hasn't really changed much. No, it really hasn't. I mean, we've increased the efficiency and, and found ways to get more of the heat out of it, out of the, the combustion and get it into the airstream, but it's still burning natural gas, causing a heat and distributing it throughout the house. Tim Deppies, with a local heating and cooling company, knows his job would be a lot tougher and all of our lives would be a lot different if we were still using other, less modern sources of heat. We always laugh. They're a little bit tougher, a little bit stronger than we are. We kind of have some modern day luxuries um, that the, the source of heat is brought right to us. I uh, don't really have to worry about it. It's just uh, provided for us sure. by the local utilities. Truly a great invention of modern day luxury buried in our dark history. This is a I think an important research thread because if we if we just ask the question, where do we find and locate African American women in the conversation of invention and discovery, we know that there were probably some folks there, and the, and Alice is obviously an example of that. So it it makes room for further investigation. Still to this day, very little is known about Alice Parker's personal life. According to records kept by Genie.com, Parker passed away in 1920 at a young age of 25, only one year after her patent number 1325905 was filed. Her design lives on in the vast majority of furnaces today. Brian Isnansky, TMJ4 News. Alice Parker, remember her name. You can watch all of our Black History Month stories at tmj4.com slash blackhistory.